Zurita has already been on trial twice for writing a book that linked Ecuador's president to a corruption scandal. He says what's happening to him is an example of the serious threats that journalists face in Ecuador. I understand that Assange and Snowden are requesting political asylum in Ecuador. The fact that Snowden could come here is a good thing because the world will find out what the government is trying to do here. They are persecuting the press and journalists. The government can come after you now for everything you write. The government of Rafael Correa is considering granting political asylum to Edward Snowden. It has already granted protection to the WikiLeaks whistleblower Julian Assange. For many, an attempt by Correa to portray himself as a defendant of civil liberties after being attacked at home of doing the opposite. Analysts say that Correa is using both cases as an example of the little influence that the United States has in Ecuador these days. There are two different things here. One is the internal politics and Correa's fight with the media. The other is international relations and how Correa is trying to prove that the United States has no say in Ecuador's decisions. I think granting political asylum to Snowden is a matter of sovereignty. On Tuesday, a new media law came into effect here. The law is seen as a victory for the president in his six-year battle with the country's media. He has sued several media outlets who have criticized his government. The new media law has been a very divisive issue in this country. Those who criticize it say that it is a direct attack against freedom of speech and that it will increase the government's control over media outlets. But those who defend it say that it is a very important step towards a more balanced media. Orlando Perez says the accusations are unfair, that the new law will give journalists rights that they had never had before. The new law brings to life the fight that has been going on for over 30 years here, that guarantees labor rights to journalists. It guarantees local production, for example, that has been non-existent. A media law that is good for some, but dangerous for others. In a country that offers those who seek refuge here the guarantee that they won't be handed in to the United States. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Quito.